Hello everyone and welcome back to Sip and Spin. My name is Skylar and over here is Brittany. And today I'm learning about me. We're going to make Skylar take a personality test. Um, Yay. I, I've seen a few people on YouTube do this specific game. Um, and I have already done this like a year ago. I don't remember mine. I think I remember my word. You get like a secret word at the end. So oh. we'll see if our words match. I don't know. Okay. Um, but yeah. So, uh. And the game capture is kind of weird with the lines and everything, but OBS was being a dick. Uh, yeah, so. I don't think I can say that in the first minute. That's not a cuss word, right? Come on. Yes. <laughs> is it? I think so. YouTube sucks. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, you probably can't say that in the first <laughs> minute either, so. <laughs> Whoops. Um, anyways, okay, you know, you never watched, uh, like, supernatural or anything did you uh i got to like the leviathan part and i got bored and leviathan's one of the best ones no it was so stupid uh, but anyway now the the there's <laughs> these like demons and like everything in the background like you feel like you're kind of going crazy yeah i already Demonic. feel like i'm going crazy i'm like i hear this enough on my own without <laughs> headphones on it's called tinnitus <laughs> mine's a ringing <laughs> let's go Good to know Skylar on a deep personal level. Yay. Okay. Now, in order to begin, this is the most important part of this entire experience. Okay. Is that a plague, Doctor? You'll be asked a series of questions. You must answer them honestly. Okay. Seems like it. Now, when I say answer them honestly, I don't mean answer them how you'd like to answer them. Answer them with truth, even if it, that's hard to face. Yes, Skylar. Okay. Be truthful. I'm not a good liar. <laughs> we all want to be good people. We rarely want to admit our faults, grievances, or mistakes. Oh, I dog on myself all the time. It's fine. <laughs> but you must decide what you truly want. Do you want this to work properly? Do you want the truth about yourself, your destiny in this world? Or would you rather live a lie just to hide from yourself? Oof. Okay. The process is very simple in theory. Just answer a long series of questions. Okay. What... It's difficult is self-analyzing your own psyche to evaluate the truths in your own mind and life so that you can predict your future. See, this is always my trouble with personality quizzes because I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you have to be assertive. I'm going to turn to you and be like, what do you think? <laughs> <laughs> you see, as long as you're honest with these questions and answers, you'll be able to see your own future here. This will tell you things you already know, but don't necessarily know that you know. What if I don't want to know my future? What if I just want to kind of vibe? <laughs> Maybe we shouldn't do this. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, is that a plague doctor on her head? It, it's like a mask, I think. Right? Like, the like fuck a... was that? The mouse? This? No, the d the random sound that just kicked in that had not kicked in before. Oh, I don't know. We're someone needs help. Okay, oh. as long as the answers you provide is that to the a body or just a cover. I, I just noticed that. I don't know. The <laughs> teddy bear is also bleeding out of its eyeballs. Um, as long as the answers you provide to the questions asked are 100% honest and true, this process will simply unlock a part of your mind that you do not have natural access to. It's also, this is supposed to be a pelvic bone. I thought it was an arrow. Oh, it could be. <laughs> I saw <laughs> Oh, like, it just looks like an arrow. That's also a personality test. We see what we want to see. This isn't psychic. You keep talking about the future, though. I kind of think you are saying this isn't a personality test. Oh, well, that's what she said it was. This is simply nature. Yes. This is you. This is you. This is your own mind. This is simply nature taking its course. You said that twice. Yeah, we've gotten there. Okay, this is the human brain at work unlocking hidden truths within itself. Okay. While attempting to answer many of these questions, you'll often wonder things like, well, this answer depends on the circumstances. Create your own circumstances in your own... <laughs> okay. I said fuck that. You have to decide. <laughs> in your mind and answer the questions with a simple yes or no as you see fit. You may not understand nor realize it, but your mind will develop the situation required to answer your question the way it needs to be answered. Okay. I invite you to grab a drink of water. Does White Claw count? <laughs> Uh, yes. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the experience. We are about to begin with a series of questions, and provided that you're a willing participant, we will be unlocking some sub sub substantial information today. Here we go. All right. Do you want me to ask the questions for you? Sure. Mm -hmm. Do you believe that everyone should always be treated fairly? Yes. Do you believe that everyone should always be treated equally? Yes. Have you ever invented anything? 
Does like my, I guess yeah because like I'm right and like invent stories I guess but I don't know if that counts as invention or creation. Do you think it does? Actually, even if I even if it doesn't, I did invent a Rube Goldberg machine when I was in the sixth grade. There we go. <laughs> Do you believe that you are worthy of someone's time investment? No. Would you consider yourself to be open-minded? Yeah. Would you say that you sometimes have <laughs> yeah. trust issues? <laughs> oh, yeah. Trust issues. Big time, baby. Would you be all right with living alone forever? <sighs> no. Do you always give someone the benefit of the doubt? Yes. Do you dislike the sound of your own voice? Yes. You have a podcast. I know. <laughs> and the, why do you think I stopped listening to the podcast back? Because I did it for so long. Same. And I, I don't find, like my voice either. And I finally just couldn't do it anymore. I was like, I can't keep doing this to myself. Do you like the color blue more than the color black? Specific. Um... No. If you found money on the street and knew who it belonged to, would you give it back to them? Yes. Are you sure you want the answers you seek? What does that mean? Are you sure you want the... Uh, yeah. Are you afraid of spiders? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Big <is>. time, baby. <laughs> if you knew you would emerge unscathed, would you jump into molten lava? Uh, no. That just doesn't sound like fun to me. <laughs> yeah. Would you consider yourself to be fat? Yes. Would you say that you have a lot, have lots of charisma? Oh, absolutely not. <laughs> I thought you say, oh, absolutely, yes. <laughs> no. <laughs> I was like, okay, go off, Queen. <laughs> what part of me looks like I have charisma? <laughs> have you ever wished you could be temporarily frozen? Uh, in sleep, sure. I would like to sleep more hours. Do so you think yes? Yeah, because like, if it means like time, because I immediately thought of like frozen in time. Yeah. Not like frozen in a block of ice. No, yeah. So to so. me, yes, I would love to be frozen in time. <laughs> this is all very interesting. Are, are you fucking judging me? <laughs> Did you realize that the last letter of the previous five questions when put together spelled the name Satan? No. <laughs> No, I didn't. Does that make you uncomfortable? I don't care. It's fine. So no? No. <laughs> Are you good at finding hidden puddle puzzles or clues? Are you a puzzle person? Uh, I, I would say yes. If I know I'm supposed to be looking for it, then yeah. Are you now wondering what other hidden messages are placed within these questions? Yes, immediately. <laughs> Have you been entirely honest with your answers thus far? Yes. Are you afraid of the consequences for answering questions dishonestly? No, it's a game. <laughs> Were you aware that there could be potential consequences for answering dishonestly? I didn't, but I still am not worried about it. <laughs> <laughs> Are you wondering how these questions began to take a strange turn? I am getting concerned. <laughs> I'm getting, well, actually, I'm getting confused. I'm just. <laughs> Would you consider yourself captivated? Uh, no. <laughs> Very interesting. <laughs> Would you consider yourself to be brave? Uh, no. I'm a little bitch sometimes. <laughs> Do you view yourself as someone with above average intelligence? I would say so. Yeah. Have you been looking for hidden messages in these questions? No, I forgot to care. <laughs> <laughs> the, the above average intelligence. <laughs> Listen, I just, I, <laughs> I forgot to quit. I just forgot to care. <laughs> Are you wondering which hidden messages you may have missed? Uh, to be honest, not really. <laughs> Have you begun to wonder how long this test will take yes. and how many questions exist? <laughs> yep. Would you consider yourself to be a patient person? Oh, yes. With the shit I have to put up with, absolutely. Do most humans annoy you? <sighs> most. Yeah, most, no. 
I, I work with a very specific crowd of annoying people because I work at a bar. So when people are drunk, they're usually more annoying. But yeah. that, that's not most people. Do you prefer animals to people? Yes. Do you believe in magic? Yeah. In a young girl's heart? <laughs> <laughs> How the music can for you? I've got the magic <laughs> in me. <laughs> Do you believe in God or the existence of some form of higher power? Power. I definitely think something's out there. Do you fear death? Uh, Just straight to the gut. No. I'd like to be Do reincarnated. You Are you attracted to someone whom you're not currently in a relationship with? Yes. Is that everyone? <laughs> yeah. Did you answer that last question with 100% honesty? Yes. I just told you about... <laughs> <laughs> you did. <laughs> Are you alone? Uh, no. What if I told you I'm not real? Uh, well, we... <laughs> that would make these, these past two years of podcasting really awkward, because it's not me editing, so somebody has to be. It's Richard. If I told you with utmost certainty that there's something watching you, would you believe me? Uh, is it the teddy bear? Because I kind of feel like it is. <laughs> um, I mean, yeah, we're posting this on YouTube, so I'm currently being watched right now. And also Brittany is here, so I'm still not alone. <laughs> Have, Have you, you wondered who I am? Uh, no, I kind of forgot that you were like an entity that's actually <laughs> asking these questions. I thought you were just a decoration. <laughs> Have you had shivers at any point during this session? I haven't. I had shivers at the uh, intro because the pss, 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 but I got used to it. Um, do you feel like you're being watched? Not really, no. Have you considered quitting the session early? No, I haven't. <laughs> do you drink water every day? Every day. Every single day? No what I thought. I try for the most... <laughs> do you... <laughs> no! <laughs> no, I don't. Do you realize that there's a high probability that you've missed a plethora of hidden messages? Probably, yeah. Are you wondering what they are? I still don't care. <laughs> <laughs> Would it bother you to never know without finding them yourself? Would it bother you to never know without finding... No. Is your favorite number seven? No. Life is short, but it's the longest thing we'll ever do. Do you agree? I mean, yeah. Oranges cannot be compared to apples. Do you agree? Actually, no, because they can. They're both fruit. Venus is sometimes referred to as the morning star. Did you know that? Uh, I did not. Everyone deserves a second chance. Do you agree? No. You can do anything you put your mind to. Do you agree? Eh. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, that's a big one. <laughs> um. I mean, yeah. I put my mind to stuff and try to get it done. Sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't, but... That's the way it goes. Obedience is more important than freedom. Do you agree? No. <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> Underwater adventures yes. sound like a fun time. Oh, Jesus. No, I love to be me. in the water. Did you realize that the first letters of the previous eight questions spelled the phrase, I love you? I did not, no. Do you wish to be loved? I mean, yeah, everybody does. Have you ever felt hated? I don't think so, no. Do you have any addictions? Uh, yeah. Do you dislike the color pink? Nope. Does the color gray seem depressing? No. Do you enjoy loud music? Yes. Brittany can tell when I'm at her house because <laughs> I pull up and she's like, yeah, I can hear the music. Do you like to dance? No. Would you consider yourself normal? Yeah. Pretty standard person. Do you love your parents? Yes. 
Have you ever been lied to? Yes. Do you get angry often? Nope. Do you hold grudges? Nope. Have you ever forgiven someone? Yep. Have you ever done something that you knew you shouldn't have done, but still did it anyway? Yep. Have you ever lied? Yes. I'm not good at it, <laughs> but <badly>. I have. <laughs> have you ever cheated on a test? No, I was usually the one people were cheating off of. <laughs> well, that's reassuring. Oh. Because <laughs> you're taking a test. Uh, uh, I kind of forgot about that. <laughs> Do you think flowers are more beautiful than trees? That's an interesting question. That is, and I'm going to say no, because I think flowers and trees are equally beautiful. Have you ever wanted to be an animal instead of a person? I think it'd be dope to be reincarnated as a raccoon. So is that a yes? Or is that a no? I don't know. Only you could answer. Have you ever wanted to be an animal instead of a person? Um, like legit. I'm gonna say no. Like I think if I was to be reincarnated, yeah, I would that's... like to be. But like, if at this moment in time, would yeah. I want to be an animal? No, I'm not a furry. <laughs> I don't think that's what I think. A furry is something else. <laughs> I gotta be honest. <laughs> <laughs> Do you believe you have psychic powers? Um, I've been working on my intuition and like getting in touch with my psychic side and trying to like work on that and develop that. So love that for you. I mean, I think everybody has some form of psychic powers. So sure. Love it. Have you ever seen a ghost? I have not, but I have definitely, oh my god, I definitely believe in ghosts now. There's what? one at the warehouse. When I was there by myself on Friday. You tell me that. Or, oh, no. Okay. No, this is a new thing. On Friday, I was there early because my dad and my dad and Johnny were in a meeting and they were, these people were supposed to come work on something. They were going to be there at eight. And nobody gets there until nine. So I had to come in early to let them in because Johnny and dad weren't going to be there. So I'm there by myself waiting for these people to get here. And all of a sudden I heard distinct humming. And I was like, what the fuck is that? <laughs> and I was like, this fucking ghost, I swear to God. I literally, sp I literally stopped and I went, if you're going to hum, just stay over there where I can hear you humming. <laughs> Don't come any closer. I'm like, if you can, if you are just going to hum and do your thing, I'm fine with that. But don't come in here and start messing with me. <laughs> and I never, I didn't get messed with. So hopefully, <laughs> hopefully the ghost took that. As <laughs> you meant business. I want to meet the ghost. I'll have to, uh, one day, maybe when I'm staying late, how, like having to work on something, <laughs> I'll bring it down there and we can see if we, yes. the ghost will I'll speak bring to us. Because me and Kenny were there one day and I told you about this. Me and, it was just me and Kenny. And the, we, the steps one? The footsteps. Yeah, tell me about and that we one. both heard distinct footsteps and we looked at each other and we're like, who's here? Like, I thought it was just supposed to be us. He was like, I don't know. I'll go look. And he came back and he was like, there's nobody here. <laughs> I was like, Dun, dun, dun. I was like, but you heard that, right? That was footsteps. And he goes, yeah, that was unmistakably footsteps. Like, it couldn't have been anything else. And I'm like, great, cool, 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 cool. Did you believe in a ghost? Still never seen one. Okay. Yeah, still I've never actually seen one. Do you dream often? I, I do dream, but not, not very often. Usually no. I'm too tired. <laughs> That's fair. Do you have nightmares often? No. That's good then. Do you suffer from anxiety Oh, attacks? you bet, buddy. Uh, do you suffer from depression? You bet, buddy. Do you exercise often and stay active? Um. I mean, I don't really exercise, but I'm on my feet a lot, and I do a lot of stuff with, like, my hands and, like, you It's your interpretation. Yeah. I would say I stay active, but I don't, like, actively exercise. So... I mean, staying active is important. Yeah, I, I will go with yes. Okay. Is there a particular type of food that you despise? Type of food? Um, yes, anything from a pig. Okay. Would you consider yourself emotionally wounded? <laughs> Damn. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Shit. <laughs> All right. I mean, yeah, but we didn't. We ain't gonna talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> no, so you just answer the question. Have you ever felt betrayed? Yes. Do you ever feel lost in life? Yes. All the time. 
Would you consider yourself a natural leader? No. If you could push a button and and destroy the world. Oh my god! <laughs> no. Are you sure? No. <laughs> Do you sometimes dream of being a hero? Uh, not really. No. <laughs> That's too much responsibility. That's <laughs> way too much pressure. Have you ever been bullied? Yes. Have you ever bullied someone else? No. People thought I did because the way I talk, but I'm like, that's just how I speak. But people always thought I was like super condescending. I was like, I really am not meaning to be. Are you a dreamer? I mean, I've got big dreams, but... Would you consider yourself a dreamer? Yeah. I think you kind of have to be to be creative. You kind of have to be a dreamer. You sometimes hurt... Sometimes hurt people's feelings unintentionally. Yes, <laughs> I do. I don't. I really don't mean to, though. Do you find space fascinating? Yes, a hundred thousand ten percent. Would you consider yourself to be an artist? Um, I would it's a because very general term. Yeah. I I used to not because I used to always think of art as like paintings and drawings. No. But the the older I got and realized what art actually encompassed, yes, I do. Would you consider yourself to be a good friend? I do, and I really hope I am. Would you consider yourself to be flawed? Yes. I got my issues. Have you ever fantasized <laughs> about being a supervillain or performing a heinous, egreg- egregious crime? Egregious e- crime. Egregious. Yes, I can never say that word. Um, no, I can't say that Are I have. sure? <laughs> I can't say that I have. Like, I've never just been fantasizing about, like, hmm... Maybe I should, like, Being rob a bank. <laughs> and I love how that's the worst thing I can think of. It's like, <laughs> oh. Do you believe in perfection? No. Nobody's perfect. Have you ever stolen from someone? Uh, yeah, my dad. I used to steal quarters off of his desk so I could get cookies at lunch. Would, Would you, you ever kill someone under... Oh, yeah, you're Any supposed to... circumstance. Any circumstances? What's this? Oh. Take that as you will. Um... No, I don't think I would. Really? Because, like, even in self-defense, I don't think I would actually be able to, like, take someone's life. I would do everything I could apart from taking their life. It's definitely one of those questions for me where you definitely have to come up with a scenario. And I'm like, yeah, I maybe could. A few. If it, like, involved my niece or something, maybe. And see, my first thought immediately was like, the only way that I could almost see me is in self-defense. But even then, I would do everything I could not even to that. not. I went, I went a very dark route. I was oh. like, yeah, I'd kill someone. <laughs> if you had one day to live, would you tell anyone? Mm. Um, I always think about stuff like that. Sometimes. No. No, yeah. I don't want them to be like, it be the last day. Yeah. yeah. That's not what you want. Have you ever told your darkest secrets to someone? Uh, probably. I fucking overshare. Like, there's no tomorrow. I don't even know that I have any Just dark say, secrets. Do you have dark secrets? <laughs> I was like, I don't even think I have dark secrets. But if I had one, I'd probably have told at least four people. <laughs> you probably said it on a podcast. <laughs> Let's be honest. Do you trust me even though you know nothing about me? Um, You do tell everyone your dark secrets. That's true. Probably, yeah. I'm like, because I really, I, I'm not like distrustful of you. So Best friends. Do you know who I am? No. (laughs) Well, I know who you are. Okay. If I appeared behind you right now, would you scream? No, I might jump, but I'm not usually a yeller. I don't actually... If I told you that I've been behind you this entire time, would that scare you? No, because I also don't believe you. (laughs) (laughs) Of course not. That would be silly. Now, wouldn't it? Yes, it would. Would you consider yourself to be empathetic? Yeah. Would you consider yourself to be romantic? Yeah. I try to pretend I'm not, but like, <laughs> I'm like, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm so tough. I don't give a fuck. I, I do. I do. I give several fucks, actually. <laughs> give all of the fucks, actually. Thank you very much. Have you ever been in a physical fight? I have not. Are you prone to headaches or migraines? Yes. Do you look at the ground when you walk? Because yeah. if I don't, I will fall over my feet. Oh, hello, kitty. Hi, Mochi. Look, there's a kitty. Are you attracted to the opposite sex? Um, yeah, apparently. Oh, I guess this is... <laughs> hello again. 
I guess this is this is where it needs to be. Did you do this on purpose? <laughs> you picked this. You just knew. You were literally like, now I need to backtrack. Well, here's your backtrack. Yeah, here's my backtrack. So it turns out uh not a lesbian <laughs> like I thought. Uh thought that for years now but uh apparently i'm not so now i'm just sticking with i don't really have a label i'm queer and whatever happens happens i'm not gonna shut any doors just i'm just gonna live my life and whoever i like i like and uh that's all that matters so yeah she is so yeah apparently i am (laughs) Would you ever shave your head? No. Really? <laughs> God, no. I, I, that was aggressive. <laughs> <laughs> okay, one time I went to go get my hair cut, and I told them to cut off, like, two inches of my hair, and they cut off ten, and I cried. Uh, I, I do. I feel like I do remember you said, telling me that. Or I, I am so attached to my hair. Like, I can't. <laughs> okay. Are you attracted to muscular bodies? <sighs> Not really, no. Do you ever dance when no one is looking? Yes. Do you trust your best friend entirely? Yes. 100%. Do you remember your childhood extremely well? (laughs) No. Because of the trauma. (laughs) Would you rob a bank if you could get away with it? No. Do you ever dream about running from a killer? I actually have before. Yeah. Not often, but it did happen once. Do you ever dream about falling off a cliff constantly for me? Not a cliff. I do dream that I fell off a boat. So, no. Okay. I'm always be falling off a cliff. <laughs> Bless. Sorry. <laughs> that was... Your sneeze is going. Do you ever dream about being naked in public? Uh, I have not, no. I don't think I've ever had that dream either. Do you enjoy scary movies or books? Nope. Do you enjoy comedic television shows or movies? Yes. Do you like being the center of attention? No. (laughs) Do you feel like something is always watching you? Uh, No, I don't. Have you ever wondered what it would be like to go to space? Yeah. Have you ever had an out-of-body experience? Have you ever punched a nun? (laughs) No, I haven't. Are you sure? I am 100% positive. (laughs) You heard it here first. I don't even think I've ever actually seen a nun in real life. (laughs) I grew up Baptist, not Catholic. Do you like dogs more than cats? Um. Oh, I always thought you did. I didn't know you had to think about this. I I do. Yeah. It's one of those, because, like, I love cats. I, I do love cats. I'm but severely, like but I, I do like dogs a little bit more. Do you prefer to read more than you prefer to watch movies? Actually, yes, I do. Are you still wondering why I asked you if you've ever punched a nut? I, I actually <laughs> am, because that was a really weird question. <laughs> do you get starstruck easily? And so just no, I, okay, <laughs> fine, don't elaborate. Fuck you. Um... I don't know. I will say I never would have been able to answer this if I hadn't have actually met someone famous and I discovered, yes, I do get starstruck very easily because when I met Jensen Ackles and Jared Padalecki and Misha Collins, I was just a fish out of a bowl of water. I was just like, ah. Because I've never... I didn't think I would be. I thought it'd be fine. I was not fine. See, okay. Apparently I do get very, like, I was just very, like overwhelmed i don't okay i'm gonna say no because when i went to the nct concert i actually like like got noticed in the crowd and like i didn't like like after i got home i of course like freaked out about it because that was like the coolest thing ever (laughs) and then when i went to the ats concert like when because i had the like meet them path like i got to like have the high touch but then because of covid we couldn't actually do high touch so we got to we just kind of like walked by them and got to say like a quick hello and like keep walking so i didn't really get starstruck i was like i was super excited to meet them but i was able to be like hi hello like you guys did great like like able to like speak and say words to them so but it also happened so fast yeah so i guess no sounds good do you hate going to big parties and social gatherings yes is your favorite part of your birthday receiving presents 
Yeah. My my uh, love language is gift giving and receiving. Like, I love gifts. I love to give people <laughs> gifts. Uh, Brittany can attest to that. I love to give her things. And I, it'll just be random. I'll just be like, it. one day I called you up and I was like, I have things for you. <laughs> Dead. So random. Seriously, though, have you ever punched a nun? Like, really? Just bam, right in the face. <laughs> nun punch. No, I haven't. <laughs> I think it doesn't believe you. Did you laugh? I did, I, <laughs> but it was like a frustrated laugh, it was, but I did. Did you say, what the fuck, in your head or even aloud? Both! <laughs> Are you now eager to somehow get the opportunity to punch a nun sometime soon? No, no, I still, I don't have a desire to punch a nun at all. If there's a hell, do you think you're going to it? <laughs> what a twist. <laughs> um, well... According to the Bible, I probably would be. That's not what it's asking, though. Oh. I guess just, do you, if there is any hell, not even the Bible hell, just do you think you're going to it? No. I, I genuinely don't think I am. Like, now, according to biblical terms, oh, absolutely. I'm gay. I've had sex before marriage. I, <laughs> I'm le- running that joint. <laughs> I'm driving the bus. <laughs> do you enjoy fantasy fiction games? Yeah. Do you masturbate frequently? Yeah. <laughs> Who doesn't? Are you wondering what constitutes frequently? I don't have to ask. I know the answer is yes. <laughs> Are you more than slightly uncomfortable right now? Not really. I'm kind of chilling. Is your mouth dry? Uh, yeah, because I can't breathe through my nose. Because <laughs> of my allergies. Does profanity make you uncomfortable? Oh, fuck yeah. All the time. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> Do you believe in legendary beasts such as Loch Ness Monster or Bigfoot? That's a stretch. I just now got to believe in ghosts, so probably not. You're saying no. 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 You gotta get. I gotta get there. It's gonna take time. Are you poor with money management? Yeah. (laughs) You just talked about how you like to buy people gifts. Uh huh. Choose one of these numbers that you feel resonates with you most in this very moment. Uh, twenty-one. That's how old my best friend is. Choose one of these colors that you feel resonates with you in this very uh, moment. Oh, yellow's not there. Uh, green. I'm wearing green. Choose one of these words that you feel resonates with you in this very moment. Oh, those are all very not nice words. <laughs> uh, toxic. Stay toxic. Choose <laughs> Have you one seen of those these TikToks? words. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Stay toxic. <laughs> um... Ooh, celestial. That's a good one. I love that word. Choose one of these words. Uh, intellect. I like that one. Do you enjoy solving mathematical puzzles? Yeah. I'm a bit of a nerd. I like math. (laughs) Do you speak more than one language fluently? Actually, I don't. So that might be a surprise because of how many languages you do I speak a lot. I Maybe do speak a lot of languages, fluent. but I'm not actually fluent in any of them. The closest is French uh, and now German because I've worked so hard at German recently. Like those are my top two. You'll um, get there. Have you ever visited a, a country? country. Uh, no, I have not. I want to. Do you enjoy coffee? Yeah, a little too much. I. Do you believe in demons? Um. I guess whatever iteration of that you uh, I don't associate think so. with that word. I don't think so, no. Do you believe in angels? No. Are you afraid of sharks? Nope. Do you prefer baths over showers? Uh, no. Does the smell of perfume or cologne give you headaches? Yes, I'm actually allergic to fragrances. Did you see a shadow move in your room a few minutes ago? (laughs) No, I did not. That's fortunate. Oh, okay. Do you ever hear your name being called even when you know no one is calling it? Um, no, because usually if I hear my name being called, I I think someone is calling it. And it, then it turns out they're not, like, they said something else. But I was like, okay. Do you think, uh, sorry. Do things in your home often go missing and then reappear? Yes, I think I have a fairy infestation. <laughs> <laughs> Do you ever hear footsteps around you when you're alone? 
Yes. I mean, uh, technically I was with Kenny, but we were alone. Do you ever hear random knocking noises around you? Uh, yeah, but it's the mice that are in the walls because I live on a farm. Fair. Do you often look at the same time on the clock every day? Yeah, and it's so funny because it's usually 127, which is my birthday. Oh, that is interesting. Have you ever felt your feet being grabbed at night while you're sleeping? No. Thank God, because I probably I probably would have Never sleep again. killed myself. <laughs> I would have just been like, I'm done now. This is it. <laughs> Don't be a raccoon now. Do you have any pets? I do. I have quite a few, actually. I have four do. dogs and like 16 cats. Is your favorite color green? No, but it's a close second. Are you attracted to a family member? No. <laughs> Ew. That came out of left field. What the fuck? If you won the lottery, would you share the money with anyone? Yeah. If you could be the direct, the dictator of your own country, would you accept the role? No, it's the same thing as being a hero. Too much responsibility. I don't want that kind of fucking pressure. <laughs> dictator, hero, same thing. <laughs> Do you ever wonder what it would be like to be in prison? Uh, no. Do you like fishing? No, it's boring as hell. And also the only time I've been fishing, I caught a fish. And then dad took it off the hook to put it back and I threw up. <laughs> Do you like hunting? No. Do you like camping? Uh, I, I do like camping, yeah. I think camping's fun. Do you like guns? No. Keep that shit away from me. Are you getting tired of answering questions? I was earlier, but now I'm not. I'm kind of vibing again. You brought it back. <laughs> <laughs> Came around. <laughs> Would you consider yourself to be kinky? Yeah. <laughs> we don't need to elaborate. Eyes are the window to the soul. Do you agree? Uh, yeah. You can tell a lot from someone by their eyes. Do you always keep your promises? No. And it's not for lack of trying, though. But I, I do have to say no, because there have been some, some promises that I have broken. Not intentionally. Like, I tried to keep it, but I just... Yeah. Wasn't able to. That's, I mean, that's life. Would you ever completely trust someone who's lied to you? Um. Hmm. Yes. Are you an only child? No. I think with the lying thing, it's like, maybe, like, if they had a good reason for lying. So mm -hmm. it's like one of those, like, it definitely would depend on what the lie was and why they told the lie. But with the yeah. question, the way the question was worded, I would have ever. to say yeah. yes. Do you ever enjoy being drunk? Yeah. <laughs> Do you like tattoos? Yes. Do you enjoy being high in any form? No. It makes me super paranoid. <laughs> Do you believe you have a soul? Yes. Did you cry this week? Hold on. I, I don't remember. Ever cried. This is a big deal. She has to think. No, I've not cried this week. Wait, no! Fuck! I cried because of the raccoon. I forgot about the raccoon. Oh, she lied! Oh no, I forgot <laughs> about the raccoon. I I don't want to know about the raccoon, do I? Well, you didn't know about the raccoon. Do you want me to tell you about the That's raccoon? That's what I'm saying. I don't want to know, do I? I don't want to cry. Is it sad? Well, okay. So I was driving home from work and there was a... Okay. Maybe I didn't technically cry. I shed like one tear. Okay. Um, That's crying for you. <laughs> <laughs> but so I was driving home and I saw a raccoon in the middle of the road. So I stopped and I was like, okay, it's looking at me. It's alive. Why isn't it moving? Um... And then eventually it finally got up and just immediately fell back over. And I realized it was laying in its own blood and its whole back legs were covered in blood. So, and then it limped off into the woods and I spent two and a half hours on the phone with like emergency vet clinics and wildlife rescue services. And half of them told me they couldn't do anything. And the other half wouldn't even fucking hear me say, out. They don't care about a raccoon. Well, I fucking cared. And I was on the phone with two and a, for two and a half hours trying to find somebody else who cared. I was up... And this was on Thursday night and I was, had to be th that Friday. I had to be there early. So I had to be up at like six fifty in the morning and I did not go to sleep until five forty-five because I was trying to find someone to fucking care about this raccoon. Cause I didn't have the facilities to save it. Like, I don't know how to like nurse an injured raccoon back to health. Yeah. I mean, that's, 
Sal, unfortunately, no one's gonna fucking care about a wild raccoon. But yeah, it upset me a lot, but... I'm upset with you right now. Are you upset with someone right now? <laughs> um... The fuck... Yeah, the fucking vet clinics <laughs> and the wildlife rescue services. Same! Fuck you guys. Is there someone you're not being completely honest with daily? Daily? Oh, God, no. You sure? Am I sure? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Do you understand how this works yet? I... I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm answering questions. It's pretty straightforward. If you answer the questions twice, your truth may change. It's not just about answering the questions. It's about the time you spend answering them and the combination you answer them in. What? <laughs> huh? One more time. If you answer the questions twice, your truth may change. It's not just about answering the questions. It's about the time you spend answering them and the combination you answer them in. Uh. Okay. I get. I'm sure. Uh, There's nothing to answer. It's just a statement. Yeah. It's about many different variables you'd never guess. Do you understand? I think I'm more confused now than I was before <laughs> you said that. Do you understand? No. <laughs> Are you wondering if the end of the test is coming soon based on the previous question? I actually was not because I was still so confused. <laughs> If I were to tell you that this entire process was planted here for you, specifically you, to learn something about yourself and anyone else that bothers using this is just a byproduct of its intention, would you believe that? Can you put that in like layman's terms? <laughs> um, this was specifically made for you and you only, Skylar. Anyone else who bought this and played it, it just happened that way. Oh, no. Okay. Are you afraid of being abandoned? Are you afraid of dying alone? Yes. Do you worry that one day you'll be unexpectedly murdered? Um, actually, yeah. Because if it's going to happen to anyone, it's going to happen to me. <laughs> I almost got kidnapped in a grocery store parking lot at like 730 in the evening. Great. Do you remember that story? Yes, I Sounds familiar. And uh, constantly being at the bar and working at the bar and people like... Yeah, you're very <laughs> nice. You're too nice. Are you always on guard, waiting to fend off attack? No, but no, you should be. I'm too nice. <laughs> Do you feel like I know you yet? Uh, yeah, you answer, I've answered a lot of questions. <laughs> Have you heard any strange noises while answering these questions? Nope, the only things I've heard are the background music, so I know that's supposed to be there. I think we have enough information about cool. you. Whether you skipped questions, and I didn't know you could, answered honestly or dishonestly, took loads of time to respond, or answered quickly without reading or understanding properly, I've been able to tell. I'm calculating your results. Okay. I'm analyzing you very carefully. I'm judging you. Uh, well, bitch, I'm judging you too. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> Based on what you've told me, this is what I can conclude. Okay. All right, here we go. If anyone has been put in a box in this lifetime, it's you. And that just isn't a feasible thing to do with someone such as yourself. I think you know that too. You don't belong in a box. You belong on a pedestal because you are magnificent, whether you understand it, realize it, or even accept it. You might not like to think of yourself in that way for the fear of sounding or even feeling arrogant, but let's be real here. People look at you and your first thought is negative. You get uncomfortable. They're not looking at you for the reasons you think. They're admiring you. They're even somewhat intimidated. Um, sure. <laughs> you give off such a powerful aura about you that people straight up don't know how to handle your presence. They can even appear a bit standoffish at times, but that's not because they don't want to know you. They just don't know how to act around you. You're not like other people. You think it's a problem with you. But I'm not it like isn't. other girls. <laughs> <laughs> it's a power to be admired, though it's often misunderstood. Unfortunately, it's often misunderstood even by you. You need to understand that no matter what you do, not everyone is going to comprehend who you are and what you're capable of, both good and bad. You will, however, find someone who you can open up to completely because they will be that special key to unlock the gate you keep so guarded. 
Hey, you just leave my gate alone. <laughs> you need to do your best to open up, though. Make yourself a bit more accessible. Give people an opportunity to get to know you. They'd absolutely love what they see and hear. You need to build some confidence or simply fake it. They won't know the difference. Trust me. One thing you need to do, one thing you do need to be careful of, however, is trusting what people say and taking it to heart when it's negative. People who don't like you for whatever reason don't dislike you because there's something wrong with you. They dislike you because there's something wrong with them. No one who truly got to know you could ever dislike someone so astonishingly in depth as you. One thing you need to realize is that you might not be as good as some people say you are, but you're definitely not as bad as some say you are either. It's important to live a healthy medium. If you don't understand yet, one day you ver one day very soon you will. Your secret word is justice. Remember that word. This will come in handy. My word was power. That's the okay. only thing I remember from taking this test. So we did not get the same word. Okay. We got something different. You're justice. You didn't want to be a hero. And no. Justice. And I basically got told that, like, <laughs> I am apparently on some sort of pedestal. You're the I don't, best. You're amazing. I don't want that, but okay. And also, I'm not, but <laughs> you sure. You are. She is. <laughs> Everyone wants to be Skylar's friend. All right. Uh, uh, do you feel it knew you? Take the secret word that was assigned to you at the end of your session oh. and leave it in a comment for us. We'll be selecting some of you based on your answers to be included in a future project we're currently working on. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what that means. <laughs> okay, uh, I'm good. Don't be afraid. <laughs> this is an opportunity to be a part of history. I feel like this is old, so this probably doesn't um, matter anymore. Yeah. That's probably when it like first came out. Um, simply leave your secret word out of your comments and we will not select. I don't think they will select anything anyway but thank you for taking the time to answer these questions trust me on that when it was just like don't be afraid you're gonna be a part of history i'm like i'm good <laughs> you're, they're gonna make you a fucking hero <laughs> like i'm good oh there's multiple there's new ones okay so you can find the test hypothesis rising and the Ooh. test final revelation and the testing chamber so there's like it's like a full series i wonder if it like builds. I have something. I don't know if I have either of those, but it was like I got this game in a bundle with other games. So we'll have to see. Uh, but yeah, so that was the test. That was the test. Did you feel it, uh, did it speak to anything, your your answers? I mean, I guess probably. Um, Basically, it seemed like it was saying you're too hard on yourself. Yeah, that and, and like really self-deprecating and like always thinking that people always think negatively of you, yeah. which is something that I do a lot. Like when people are just kind of like around me and I'm like, oh, they don't like me. And it's like, no, it's not that they don't like you. They do. They may just not know how to be around you. And yeah. I was like, oh, okay. So that kind of resonated. I got gotcha. you. And... I mean, justice does kind of make sense, just because I am a person who likes to, um, like, depending on the situation, like, give second chances, give someone the benefit of a doubt, benefit of the doubt, but also, like, want things to be done fairly and equally, and so, I mean, I think, I think so. Yeah. Okay. I mean, I answered everything truthfully, so, I mean, it has to be <laughs> right. They're correct, obviously. <laughs> But yeah, so that was a, a little different than what we normally do. Just now you guys know everything about me. <laughs> and now I feel like divine to do it too, just so it's even ground. <laughs> do you feel weird? <laughs> I've always been the more uh, overshare of, of the podcast and the YouTube channel. I feel like yeah. everyone knows everything about me at this point. <laughs> And I'm like, you know what? Whatever. Fuck it. Which is very funny because it's like the total opposite of your results <laughs> because the results are like, let people get to know you. And then yeah. real like podcast viewers like, here's my life story. <laughs> <laughs> and it's because it's like, because I'm not actually like looking at them. Mm -hmm. So like for the podcast and for here, yeah. I can like say stuff and I'm just like, <laughs> yeah and like I'm not actually making eye contact with anyone it's like no one's ever gonna actually hear this even though I know someone is going to hear this we do have people who watch <laughs> and listen to the podcast and watch the YouTube channel so I know that but it, like at the same time it's so it's just easier because I'm staring at Brittany and a screen and yeah, I'm so comforting <laughs> I'm just like oh, people open up to me all the time they do actually but yeah, like in why. in real life or like with 
people, it's like, oh, I'm all, I'm always the person who's like, oh, I'm fine. I'm not actually fine. <laughs> there, right there. She was not, in fact, fine. <laughs> okay. But, yeah, so that was that. But um, how did we watching. outro YouTube again? I don't know. It's been uh, so long. <laughs> thank you so much for watching. And If you wanted to do more stuff like this, uh, like it and let us know. Yeah, let us know. Leave a comment. <laughs> like the video. We'll make uh, Skylar reveal more of her deep dark secrets. <laughs> yeah, my, my super, <laughs> super dark secrets that I have so many of because I'm just super mysterious and dark and brooding. And yeah, yeah. that's me. It's a whole lot you don't know. <laughs> but um, yeah, uh, like the video, leave a comment, uh, subscribe. It's free. It's a big red button. You can't miss it if you want to. I mean, you don't have to. We're not going to force you but if you would what like to are you doing? that would be that would be cool we would appreciate <laughs> it but uh anyways yeah thanks for being here and we'll catch you next time we'll see you next tuesday bye <laughs>